Today we're going to be doing our shore troopers for this 800 point army that we've been working on the past few days. This time these miniatures have been primed prior to me painting them. This was all purchased like this and there was nothing done to them. The person I purchased this from on eBay, they did a black prime and then a white highlight on all these miniatures so if you want to get your miniatures looking like this you can go ahead and do just a black or gray prime on the entire miniature and then spray from above to get that nice white zenithal highlight from the above so we're going to go ahead and use some Nasdreg yellow contrast paint we're going to go ahead and use this paint on all of the miniatures and really use this white highlight to our advantage. I don't use contrast paint much, but I wanted to try it out to show you that you can save time if you're not worried about your miniatures looking, you know, up to par or just tabletop ready, which is our goal. This is so anybody can repeat this easily and quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and just start the timer here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna grab just one of our miniatures here. Since we're gonna be covering the entire miniature, just grab any kind of you know brush that you have and just apply from the top down here. Go ahead and get some more on the brush. Just cover the entire miniature here. Obviously you can choose any colors you want, but I'm gonna go with this one for now. Go ahead and just kind of coat it like you are doing a wash. If you want, you can wet your brush, come back in and kind of just dry your brush off a little bit and pick up where the excess liquid is if you don't want it there. Maybe it's a little heavy here on the back. As you can see already, you know, it's dark back here. That white underneath tone is really picking it up here. And I don't want to do too much. I want to make this apply, wash with this contrast paint. We're going to let this dry and see what it looks like. We're going to move on from there. You know, I was just seeing how it's kind of resting here. Some of it's not going in his shoulder, elbow here. I'm just going to kind of go back in here with the same contrast paint. Kind of make sure everything's getting covered. Okay. I kind of really like how that's turned out. You know, it might be a little too much yellow compared to what they actually look like, but you know, we don't have to be movie accurate. You know, this can be whatever we like. All right, so we're going to see how this dries. Like I said, if it's pulling up too much on the helmet, dry your brush off, come in and, you know, pick it up. If it's too much, you can keep adding more back in later. See, it's a little showing through there. I'm just going to do that. All right. We'll go ahead and... Press pause here on this timer and we'll do a time lapse. I'm going to do all the miniatures the same color.
I've let time to dry for these models. While it was drying, I was taking looks at them and here's the leaders of the both shore troopers. I went back during my time lapse and I touched up on the unit leader and add a little bit more on his helmet, but it was already starting to dry, so it kind of turned a little darker on it. Other than that, I think they turned out pretty good. Just a quick spread really shows the difference here. You know, it only took about 20 minutes to paint these in the state they are in. Granted, they were already primed with the highlight on them. I don't use these contrast paints much. So yeah, obviously you could choose a different color and go with that. But I'm not too worried, like I said, about using the same type of scheme, or I'm sorry, theme with the you know, short troopers in the movies. But the main point is it really gets the shadows in the model. Highlights. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the second step, which is I'm going to use a second contrast paint and do some wildwood. And I'm going to use this on the pants area here and on the back of these leaders and heavy weapon. Everything else I'm going to keep the same color. So this is only the pants area. And then after that, we will move on. So let's go ahead and start our timer up here. I'm going to use a little less thick of a brush for this as I'm only going to be doing the pants so I don't need as much as coverage. Go ahead and grab the leader here and just get the pant region here. in the back here. And just given that, it just really, really makes the model pop now. Even just adding this darker color on here really makes everything else kind of stand out. And separates the colors on the model so it's all uniform looking. Okay. So just about like that. You can apply less or more as you'd like. Water it down if you don't want it as dark in some areas. I'm happy with the way that looks there. Okay, let's do another time lapse here. So this step just have to be a little bit more careful with not getting the model entirely drenched. So I'll go ahead and stop this and we'll go to a time lapse. these dry as well. Let's take a little closer look here. A 
with the brown on the pants here and back here on really makes the boots stand out now and separates the colors really well. I really like how it's turned out. It's nice and simple. So we got our main colors down. It's still kind of drying here. We're going to go ahead now and do our black mix that I've done in my previous two videos. Some null oil. Put it in our little up here we're gonna do the visors and the helmets and anywhere else we want to do some black go ahead and apply some nice black paint in the corner here of this and then you can grab your normal and put some in there in there, mix that up. Okay. Grab this leader here. I'm going to wipe some of this off here. Get a little smaller of a brush. smaller brush here. Go ahead and dip that in there. Okay. We're just going to start here on the nose and then just drag down. If you get a little much, you can just wipe off like normal. And we'll get the inside of the visor here. Just drag right across. Wipe off the top of the helmet here if you'd like. And if you'd like to go a step further, you can come in here. Get the crevices of the arms if you'd like. Yeah, I forgot to start the timer. Luckily it hasn't been too long. Come over here and get the back of the elbow over here. Not a necessary step. You can if you'd like. So it's just to give it some extra depth on the model here. And we can go ahead and paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint the gloves here. Black here. Leaving that armor there. And the other glove here. I got some more. I'm just wiping my finger. I'm gonna go back and get the gun in a moment. I just want to get all the spaces with my little brush, and I'll go back with a bigger brush later on and grab the gun. All right. So I like where that is. So. We'll go ahead and do the visors and the gloves for the rest of these models here. I'll go ahead and let that timer keep going for a moment since I'm trying to sheet again. Okay.
All right, so after painting the black on the unit's hands and the weapon, the visor and his eyes sockets, his gloves here, really makes the unit stand out a lot better now. Here's the heavy weapon. You know, really like this miniature here. Looks really good. So we're gonna try and differentiate between these two units, just like we did with the scout troopers a couple videos ago. We're going to go ahead and do some corn red. So go ahead and put that on your wet palette here. I'm going to use the same one I did for my Imperial Royal Guards. We're just going to use the dark red. I think it'll look good with this yellow brownish color we got going on. And we're going to differentiate between these two units. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. You can you know, try to make these movie accurate if you want. Do whatever you like. I know some of the miniatures, you know, everyone has them different, so. I think it'll be fun to just kind of paint the chest piece on the leader, and then every unit with this, just, you know, specific unit. Every miniature in this specific unit, you know, maybe I'll do a shoulder. Just one, just kind of highlight a little bit. I'm just kind of dragging down. Just like that, that looks really cool. I'll get his uh, side of the shoulder here. Try the side of our brush. Just drag it down like that. And fix this little spot here a little bit. Put some water on your brush. Add a little red on the spot it wanted on. Just got a little water here. I'm trying to get this spot there. Kind of come off a little bit. Water it some more. I'm going to use my thumbnail here to maybe get it there. Okay, then water your brush again. Wipe the rest of the armor down here. Dry it and then come back and wash it. That's probably all off camera, so that's great. Anyways, just making that side shoulder pad there. You know, nothing too fancy here. If you want, you can add more red, you know, elsewhere on the model if you'd like. And you know, maybe continue on downwards onto the side of here. down onto here. Down to his glow. That's 
people. I'm just gonna kinda leave it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the unit out and continue on. So after painting all the miniatures here, it really matches the theme, that dark red here after it dries. And I'm gonna have to go back here and paint the gun a little bit as I got the chest pieces here. That's fine, you know, that's easy to do. Just a little bit to differentiate the models here. Okay. So I'll just uh, wipe this red off here. We'll go ahead and get our black a little bit. And just kind of go back and touch up here real quick. That's one heavy. Here we go. Start the timer again, guys. All right, not much to touch up there. We're going to take a small little brush here, wet it a little bit. Go back to our red unit here. Get some red on your brush. Now these guys have a little dot on their helmet here. So just come in there with that. Put that on all my red units here.
A little extra detail sometimes can go a long ways. That was too much, I'm just gonna lightly put that. I'm going to go ahead and grab a black again and a small brush. shoulder pad here. Now feel free to, you know, paint these guys like a different color if you wanted. I mean, you wouldn't even necessarily have to do anything. I'm just trying to give you different ideas to how you can work with your miniatures. It's just kind of cool to give them a different little technique there. So now I'm just kind of looking at these guys. Add this nice black on it now. 
And we're gonna use uh, the black gel and that small brush. I'm gonna get these guys a little black time. There goes the timer. Okay, we're just trying to show you how you can paint these miniatures quickly. Put a little detail in them. You can certainly do more or less based on your you know, goals with your army. Okay, so that's done. All right, so just kind of looking at the miniatures now. Very subtle difference. You can easily tell that your miniatures are part now. And this is what I prefer over you know, painting the rims of your bases a different color. But feel free to do whatever you prefer. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and apply the same basin that we did to our other miniatures. Go ahead and grab your Armageddon dust. Same basin technique as our other miniatures we've done. Go ahead and grab the mini and just smear it on there. It's okay if you get on the shoes and the boots. And if you think it's too flat, you know, just go grab a clump here and just kind of give it some different texture here. Go ahead and do a time lapse of this. See, I forgot to start the timer again, you guys. So I just got done painting the bases here. Go ahead and start the timer again. 
Now I don't want to cover up the entire arcs on these. Just water your brush. Come back over here and just kind of scrape off enough of this so you can see the indentation. Okay. You wipe it with your finger a little bit like this. So you can see the indentation, indentation a little better here. I don't really like it when people, you know, scrape these big old, you know, marks in here. What ruins the theme for me? You can do what you like, it doesn't matter to me. It makes it easier for you to see the arc. That's, that's great for gameplay. I just like to do the little tips here. That's all you need to figure out where it's at. And when this dries, you'll be able to see those still. And we'll do the same to this one here. All I need is this little edge piece here. And this one. Okay. okay, we'll go ahead and let these dry, and we'll be back. All right, the bases have had time to dry, and we're gonna go ahead and do some dry brushing now. I did let my clock go a little bit, just to kind of catch up with what I missed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our white scar. So go ahead and shake that up real well. Get your brush with nice thick bristles, but it's short, nice and stiff. And dab it in the white there. Grab your paper towel and just brush it like we did before. You can do a little test here, see the white comes off a little bit. Go ahead and grab miniature, and we're just going to do the, the weapon right here. It's nice and light, comes off pretty easy. Don't have to do too much, just kind of like that. It really makes the miniature pop now with that. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, do another time lapse. So I just got done dry brushing the weapons and the bases. Really kind of makes this stand out. And I forgot to turn the timer on, so we'll just give another 10, 15 minutes on that. All right. Now we're gonna use our Xandry dust and dry brush the feet and everything around the model that's touching the sand. So go ahead and put your paint on 
and just dry brush it here on your paper towel. Now you don't have to buy the special dry brushing paint if you don't want to. This works just as good. Right, so let's grab one of these bigger miniatures here. Just, and if you got too much white on area, just go over it with the Xandri dust and tame it down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna get this all on here. Nice and dusted here. Really want to create that look that they're in the sand dust area. Okay. You don't have fun with it. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. You, know, you guys are kneeling down, so. Okay. Call that good. We'll do a time lapse of the rest of the model. So we just got done dry brushing. Really brings the model to life, just like in the other two videos. Nice and dusty up on the pants a little bit. Back here on. Really pretty cool. Take it as far as you want or not as far. This really ties the model into the base. Okay, well, last step to do is to go ahead and uh, paint the rims of the base with black. And remember, I still need to put 10 minutes on my timer here, 10, 15 minutes. So this, is, this will be just about in two hours of painting, not counting drying time. But let's go ahead and get your black for the bases and shake that up. Go ahead and get your brush, a little thicker of a brush. A lot easier to coat the bases with that. So something like that. We'll go ahead and start the timer again. Grab your miniature here. Use the side of your brush and just paint the rims here. Nice back and forth motion like this, same brush strokes. Okay, there we go, pretty cool. Go ahead and line him up over here. We'll do another time lapse.
finishes up this video today. These shore troopers are pretty sweet looking. Different take on them with a the color scheme. Just using that contrast paint. Just showing you different ways to paint your armies quickly and easy to get tabletop miniatures ready. You know, we could spend more time and do more details you know, on the belts and the helmet, and do some shading. But the whole point of this video is for someone that doesn't really paint that often to just pick up some miniatures, show you how to do this pretty easily without much skill, and be able to put an army together pretty quickly. All right. Well, after this video, we have Bosque and Emperor Palpatine left. And then we'll be giving this entire 800 point army away. Cards and tokens all included. And we'll look forward to that in the upcoming videos. I think we'll do Bosque and Palpatine together. And then after that, we'll post all of the army together. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and you guys have a good rest of your day.